understand that is we've seen and we've heard from petitioners, uh, sorry, from representatives, that up to 20, 30 percent of their businesses will be affected by these proposals going forward. Uh, and in that, I just cannot support these proposals. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, David. Leslie. I'm talking about the budget. 
continue to access the parks to promote their health and well-being. Therefore, this committee, after hearing from the wide ranging number of organisations here today, wishes to refer this decision back to the decision maker, the leader of the councillor, Councillor Philip Davis, as on the evidence that we have heard today, insufficient weight has been given to the detrimental effects these charges will have on grassroots football clubs, golfing societies, small businesses, families and vulnerable adults who all use our country parks. Councillor further requests that the leader of the council not proceed with these charges and if necessary he looks at alternative savings, many of which were highlighted at budget council. This committee would also recommend to the leader of the council that he considers utilising the usual route for determining traffic regulation orders, namely the all party highways panel. And I say no to that. So we've now got a proposal, I'll read this out. To uphold the decision, if the overview and scrutiny committee agrees with the initial decision, the relevant senior officer may implement, implement it without delay. Do we have a seconder for that please? G. All those in favour, please raise their hand. All those against. That's carried. There was eight votes in favour and six against. 